Howdy folks, little John, how you going? Uh, I'm sitting here, I'm two thirds of the way, well not two thirds of the way, I'm fully through um, a tasting on the Great Northern Quain. Uh, getting ready to drop the recipe. So, quick shout out to Little John's Patreons and the subscribers to the channel. Thank you everyone for your support. Um, there's links down the bottom to Patreon if you're interested in that. Hit the subscribe button if you aren't, and hit the thumbs up if you uh, like what's going on with the uh, with the videos. I've gone through and I've just done some tasting on this, uh, and I've found where I want to go with the recipe, and I'm going to finish. Like I said, the recipe is coming out with this. The recipe will be linked down the bottom. Um, I'll put the full recipe, um, and I will the I'll put the the grain and the and the, and the hop recipe down the bottom and I'll also put the brew father link up as well. I will be dropping the recipe, the final recipe, into into brew father itself. Um, so you can go into brew father and search for it as well if you wanted if you wanted to. This fella here in the middle is the authentic Great Northern original 4.2% alcohol. Uh, this is Little John's Great Northern clone done with 3470 uh, and this is the same batch done with USO5. These were both fermented at 12 degrees. Uh, these have come up very close. I haven't got a clone and I never expected to get a full clone. Um, I can't recreate their, their systems and their procedures at home as you know, you can't do it at home either. So um, the best we could realistically look at is to get something that's close. Um, and I think I've gotten very close. Uh, Look, I could probably play and tweak and continue with the recipe, you know, bit by bit and get it and get it even closer. But as it is right now, six batches in, I've, I'm done. I've had enough of doing it. I've made too much beer that I don't want to drink. Um, I don't, I'm not going to do any more. But I am very happy to release this recipe as is uh, and say it's a great northern um, because this is going to get you closer than any other recipe that's, float, that's floating around anywhere. Um, I've looked, people have looked, they aren't there. So this 3470, 12 degrees, 1042 starting gravity, 1010 final gravity with 3470 um, is the same flavour, it's just a little bit lighter on the signature Great Northern stale Menke flavour. Um, that's all that's wrong. As, just as it's a few shades off on the colour, it's a few shades less of the less of the mink and the staleness. Um, it's a nice beer, certainly very much similar on the flavour. The USO5 at 12 degrees actually gets you a little bit closer to the flavour because there's a little bit more of that minky stuff from the O5 down that low. Um, that's a video I'm going to look at separately. But as far as this goes, you can do it either way. Um, I don't think there's any reason why you couldn't brew this recipe with USO5. Um, yeah, at normal ale temps, it, 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 yeah, yeah, 15 to 18 degrees. Yeah, and, and get a reasonable result, something you could sort of drink if you don't have temperature control, or you don't want to go down that whole lager yeast you know, avenue of the extra costs and starters and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so they're your options. The recipes are coming. I think that's a bloody, well, actually, I don't think it's good beer. Sorry. That's a good beer. I'm very happy with what I've done there. That's a really, really well-made attempt at a very bad beer. Let's, let's put it that way. Um, yeah. I'm very happy with, with the outcome. I'm very happy to never drink any, more, any drink it ever again. Um, I'm happy to not drink Great Northern ever again, um, but the recipe's there. The links are all going to be down the bottom. Um, I'll put some links up the top for the yeah, brew day videos and stuff that led to us and some stuff, the, the path I'm getting actually to this final beer. Um, but yeah, that's it. Great Northern clone, there. 
Uh, remember, if you are going to clone lock the recipe to adjust the numbers for, to, to, for your own efficiency uh, and to hit your mineral numbers on the target numbers, don't just follow the amount that I, that I use. It's going to be different for wherever you are. Um, but, yeah. I'm going to call it as good as cloned as we're going to get. So, guys, comments, questions, down, down the bottom. Uh, that's it. Um, I'm glad I finally got to the end of this. Uh, I said, glad I'm not <laughs> playing around with it anymore. I can get back to doing, <laughs> doing my own stuff a little bit more um but anyway as always you know everybody supporting the channel everybody watching the channel thank you very much um so until i see you again when we brew on beer drinking beer or talking beer good brewing exit stage right <laughs>